guest bed. Um, it looks a lot different in here so far uh, than what was before. Hector still has some of his stuff over here that he has to to move out, but and there is the stroller that we got, a stroller set. And then we have started on the closet. There's still some things from the guest bedroom that I'm working on. Um, my mom's gonna be here in a week or so, so we're just trying to do that. So we did start on some clothes, of course, cause that was my favorite part that I wanted to do is go clothes shopping. I don't have the dividers yet. So what I wanna do is I wanna put dividers on there to kind of separate it out. I did get these containers, I guess. They are a little big for the shelf. They're kind of hanging off. And I haven't gotten labels yet. I still need to do some stuff. And then like over here, we have some other things. So yeah, I got the curtains um, and everything. We just haven't put it up yet because I have to clean in here. Um, and then we have a blanket here and like a little suit that Hector got a while ago. Just some books right here. He found like a Batman car when we went antiquing. And then here's just like another, another uh, thing like this up here. I got three of them. It's coming along slowly but surely. You don't have a ton of stuff right now. I still do have things on my registry and stuff that I'll get from my baby shower. So I'm just kind of waiting, waiting on that right now. I also did want to mention that we did order the crib set probably a couple weeks ago and it's supposed to be here soon within the next couple of weeks. So that's why we kind of did things when we did. But my vision right now is to have the crib on this side of the wall because on the other side behind me is the washer and dryer. So I don't want it to make a whole bunch of noise. <laughs> and then probably in this corner right here where this box is, I kind of want the chair there like the rocking chair or whatever and then next to it i'll probably have the dresser on this side and then probably over by the window i don't know i haven't decided maybe i might put the dresser over here by the window and then like my cube organizer over here because that's what i'm gonna use for um like a diaper changing stand too, as well as storage. So I might just put that over here and then put the dresser over here. I don't know, I'll have to see how tall it is and see if it works with the window. We received the furniture last Friday and so we started doing everything. Here is the dresser. And he finished the crib last night. And it comes with the mattress. And then we also put the, the rocking chair together. I already knew I wanted to do this, but I got the set from Delta Children online. They actually have nursery sets that you can customize, like you can pick your own dresser and your own chair and everything. So it just all came together and then it did come with the mattress as well. And these sheets, so you get, you get to pick your sheets. They have several different styles. Uh, I just got the Fox one um, since they didn't have any moon and star stuff for my theme. And so pretty much it's it's really easy. You just go through and pick out what you want. And then you put in all your information. It does have like a afterpay kind of thing. So you can split it into payments, which is really nice as well and helpful. And then it goes through a third party delivery 
person, um, like a company, and they call you to set a scheduled time to deliver it. And then they either put it like in your garage or in your living room or whatever. And you just have to sign off on it. And so it's really easy. I did get the Archer set and it is the four in one. So it does convert to like a day bed, a taller bed, and then a full size. Some of the parts you do have to get separate for that, but um, I just wanted everything to last a long time so I wouldn't have to buy all new stuff, um, you know, later on down the road. I got mostly clothes from my baby shower, so the closet is even more full than it was before. And so I put a lot of stuff in here until we get the dresser figured out and set up like correctly. I did label the boxes finally also. So we are starting to make progress. It's starting to come together. We have the basics set up uh, right now and kind of like how I envisioned it. So we moved the little cubicle Thing from the guest room in here and I'm gonna be using that for storage and possibly for diaper changing and the chair is in that corner now the dresser is right below the window um, so it fits perfectly it's the perfect height we're setting up the stroller so uh, and the bed is on this side. These cut carpet, and these are just like the threshold uh, storage bins. Like I am like the minty kind of tealish, and then the white polka dots because I couldn't find any stars. Are the um, 14 inch ones that do fit? Uh, the cube. I did add labels to the cubes as well, just so I know what is what, and the other night, I just started putting stuff in here. Like, obviously, this is all my nursing stuff, so it has a lot of, like, my breast pump stuff in it and everything. This one's, like, all the diaper changing stuff. So that really helped out to put the cube in here. I put the dividers in, the closet dividers, the other day, and they barely fit under this ledge, but I think it works. It's not bad. I was kind of worried about that. A little bit. I mean, they're kind of leaning, but I think that it's okay. I picked up this bedside bassinet the other day. So we're really excited to put it together and see how it works. Hector put together the bouncer the other night. He kind of had a little bit of struggle uh, with it, getting it together. He couldn't figure out the bottom piece there. Um, Insert clip right here, secretly. And this thing is called like suspended. He fucked it up in this part. Mm. But look, I know that's all the thing is can reach it over. So this part like lights up and everything. And we also put together the bedside bassinet thing that he will be using in our room for like the first like six months or so and it's just so I can watch him and everything and so he's not on his own over here for a while so we are going to be doing co-sleeping but I want him separate from me because I have this fear that I'm going to roll over on him and crush him and it scares me. Since the bassinet only has the mattress cover, it doesn't have the sheets with it. I had to buy the sheets separately. And actually on Amazon, there's 
several people who said that the regular bassinet sheets are too small and to get the play yard sheets. So I found these at Walmart and they're perfect because they have the moon, the stars, and the constellations on them and everything. And they do fit. For these, just the play yard sheets, the cotton ones, and they have uh, two in there. The other one um, kind of has stars and spaceships and stuff on it. A few things that we have um, gotten or put together. This is the changing pad thing. I just put it on top of the, the cube and then it has like a little strap here. I still have to get like a sheet for it. And then I got this thing and it is a noise machine. Let me show you guys the box. So it's this hatch rest sound machine night light and then it has an app that you can control it with too. And so it has um, like colors and sounds. On the dresser, I did the labels here. And honestly, like I was gonna buy some on Etsy, but I thought this would just be a lot easier just to write it out. And so I can change it out if I want to. And no one's really gonna see it except for us. So I didn't really think it was that big a deal. And I got these all-purpose labels from Target. And then I just used a Sharpie with it. And so I just kind of folded them over on the ends because they were kind of too, uh, too long. So I just kind of folded it over and then wrote on it. So then when it comes time to like remove these, they're removable. Another thing is that I got these dividers off of Amazon and they are perfect. I actually really like them and they came in like, they have like a few of like these really like kind of long gate, elongated ones. And then they have like the bigger square ones and they come in different colors too. So I just chose the gray to go with our, our theme, but I thought this was like a really good way to get the drawer organized with like the different sizes and everything so yeah definitely a good investment. I also got the hamper in the other day and I got this from a site called Bye Bye Baby. Apparently it's part of Bed Bath & Beyond so I thought that was kind of cool. I just kind of stumbled upon it and um, I can link, I'll be linking all the stuff down below if you guys want to do the same theme or or whatever but it wasn't that expensive it was like 20 bucks i saw other ones at like the at home store and stuff but i didn't like them as much as this so i'm glad that i was able to get this one these are the sheer curtains that i got from walmart i was actually having trouble finding the 63 inch kind so i finally found some there i've got the curtains hung now and yesterday I washed the blinds and put up the sheer white ones. And then I washed the regular curtains and let them air dry overnight. It's starting to get some color in here. These are actually the same curtains that we have for our patio. They're just in a smaller size. Of course, I love these curtains and I'm glad that I found another pair that would work for this window. For the finishing touches, we just put on the decals and then I have this print. And then on this corner, we finally got the shelf up. It was a pain in the ass. And then we have all the books. And then over here, we have more decals kind of cascading down to the crib. And then we also got the mobile set up. Got this mm. lamp and it's like the mint color too. So it goes like with the curtains and like my theme or whatever. So I got it at Target and it's by the Pillow Fort brand that they have for kids. So it came with the lampshade already. 
It doesn't have a bulb in it yet, so I gotta put that in. The reason why I got a lamp is because we do have this overhead one right here, but it's way too bright, even for me. So um, I thought it would be just better to have like a little lamp there so that way it doesn't hurt his eyes. I have the, this moon lamp there. My mom got me that and then the lamp. So everything is now finished. Oh, and then got like this little A thing and then the shelf. So I, this is really small actually. So I just put like a shoe in there and then I found this little bird thing. And then I put the sheet on the changing pad. Also, we added in the rug as well to match the curtains. So that's the little other pop of color that we got in there.